What's up YouTube? This is Russell from Russell's Reef. Um, this episode we're going to take a look at some corals that I picked up, uh, a couple fish that we got, and a couple of issues that I've been dealing with, including some uh, brown hair algae that has shown up all over the tank. So sit back and relax and enjoy. So real quick, I just want to go over the lid that showed up. Got it from Clearview Lids. Um, it took about a month and a half to get here. It came out pretty cool, came out all right, it fits the tank. Um, I think it'll do the job. My wife said it looks janky, but I don't think she's seen any other lids on tanks, so. At first when I got the tank, she's like, we're really gonna have that wide open with no top on it. And now that I put a top on it, she's like, that thing looks ghetto. But um, anyway, I think it looks super nice. I think you guys will probably agree. Um, good quality. There's a little door for feeding right here. Uh, fits the tank. So that was my main worry. I had to do the measurements myself. So I gave it a little wiggle room just in case because I didn't want it to be too big and uh, it fit cool. Um, one thing, it does stop at the overflow section so it doesn't cover the back which kind of sucks. I mean, it'd be nicer if it went all the way back. I think it'd look a little cleaner, but um, I think it'll do. So as far as the tank, or as far as the lid, uh, I'd probably give it a maybe four out of five. Um, it did take a while to get there, uh, get delivered. It was delayed about two weeks and it was pretty expensive. So I think this one was like, I don't know how much, but pretty expensive, so. Yeah, there's the lid. Clearview Lids is where I got it from. So here are the coral that I picked up. Um, I got two polyps of Bowsers. Those were pretty expensive. They look like they're doing all right. I've actually never had luck with these. They usually die on me, so we'll see what happens. Um, I also got uh, a couple of polyps of the Sunny D in the back. You can't tell with this lighting, they look kind of browned out, but when the lights are on, normal looks, they look pretty sweet. They're very bright. Um, and then got the scrambled eggs in the front. Again, not really their true color showing through. And then some gob stoppers. And I guess something like Dragon Ball or something. They look like orange Bam Bam to me. So yeah, that's that's a little Zoe rock. So hopefully they all grow in. And then I just picked up uh, two caps. So get those started, see how uh, they work out. Kind of just test her SPS as I continue to dose calc and see how that works out. And I also got this sweet Duncan. It is bright green. Um, sorry, I got like four big heads and a couple babies. So. That thing will go pretty quick, I think. Let's see if I can get a better shot of the side of it. No, it's a lot prettier in real life, but kind of get the get the idea. Let's see what else we got here. So there's the lawnmower Blenny. Um, literally just put this guy in there, but I think he should take care of all that ugly brown hair algae. As you can see, he's already doing it. And then. I got this Rass, so a yellow chorus Rass. This guy is awesome. He's already out and about, eating, hunting for pods. Just a real cool fish. And then I also have a uh, Midas Blenny in here. He's hiding right now, but he's somewhere back there. We'll definitely get some pics of him once he's uh, more acclimated. Uh, as you can see, we got a little bit of this brown hair algae growing. Um, it's just growing on the Stax rocks mostly. Uh, I'm not too worried about it, actually pretty excited about it. I think it'll be fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is I already removed all the other algae off the back wall. So now it's just the Stax. I'm gonna let it grow a little longer and then I'm gonna try to trim it up and then hopefully my lawnmower Blenny will take care of the rest. 
Um, but it's pretty crazy because as you can see, it's only growing on the Stax rocks, really. All the other rocks are pretty good. And the one piece of live rock has pretty much zero algae growing on it. So if you're doubting the power of live rock, there it is. I mean, that live rock is completely bare and the coralline is growing nicely. And then all the dead rock is just covered in this junk. Um, but I'm not worried about it, I'm sure. It'll be gone in a couple weeks. Um, but yeah, if you ever thought that live rock was not real or just a gimmick, I tell you for sure, it's definitely not. Um, yeah, so hopefully about a week I'll let that grow, then I'll trim it by hand, and then cleanup crew should be able to take care of it. All right guys, so here's a little update on what's going on in the cabinet. Let's take a closer look. As you can see, the skimmer is dialed in. It is pulling some dark skim, working super well. So I am pretty happy with that. Uh, as you can see, it's the PLS 50 Elite 2 from Catalyte. So, so far I would say I recommend this skimmer. Um, hasn't been too long, but so far so good. And I did figure out my uh, issue that I was having with getting it all set up and tuned to the right level. So to tune it, you kind of twist the body and then it opens up these little holes on the bottom. Uh, I was having issues with it sliding all around and, and moving, so I couldn't get a consistent uh, consistent water level in there um, but I was on the forums and I guess there are some screws down there you can kind of see them so once you get to the level you want you just tighten those screws up I will say it was pretty hard to tighten those screws up at the right level I mean I would get it all set up and then I would tighten the screws test it and the water level would overflow I was doing that for a good hour, hour and a half, but finally I got it and um, skimmer's definitely working good, pulling some gross stuff out of the water. Um, as for the refugium, it seems to be working pretty good. The chato is growing, it's probably about doubled in size. Um, the light is good, it's definitely not overkill, it's not gonna, I don't think it'll ever outcompete what's going on in the tank, but I think it should keep levels in check a little bit. Um, for the top off, started with some kelp washer. Um, I don't know about the mix I have. Usually when I'm dosing the kelp washer, there is more of a sludge on the bottom. For this, it just seems to stay in suspension in the water. As you can see, it's cloudy, I added that yesterday and it was the same way with the uh the last batch that i added so i don't know i'll keep an eye on it um i definitely have to do something about this pump and i want it elevated off the bottom so it's not sitting in the sludge otherwise it'll be toast in a couple months so think about building a little box just anything i try to suction it to the glass but it's just not holding so yeah that's the calc um I've dosed calc before in the past, uh, had good experiences, so I'm gonna try it out, see how it works again. And then as far as the wire management, looking back, um, not having any issues. It's awesome being able to just turn on and off all the different ATOs, and if I need to turn off the skimmer, it's nice to just be able to hit the switch. So no complaints there, it's definitely super secure. On this side, same thing. Um, I know some of you are asking about the doser. Still not hooked up. Um, it's the Jabo. Is it auto dosing pump? Super cheap. You can get it on Amazon. Um, we'll see how it works. It's probably gonna be a while before I hook it up, though. I mean, there's no need right now. The calc will handle everything for for quite a while. And then once it's hooked up, I'll be running the three part out of here.
Oh, here it is. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, he lost his claw. He just ripped off that guy's claw. over it he lost his claw and now he's like oh I'm screwed. Did he die? Did he die? The red guy? I think he's dying. I got my why is he holding still like that? Because like how did it all go wrong? How did I lose my claw? Chance if he just went behind him and jacked his shell back. <laughs> 